Hi, it's Mary Mary here from Real Good Bad Example. Now that I got that out of my system, we could proceed with the intended video, which is on drugstore products. Walmart. Three dollars because I had a two dollar off coupon. I thought it was seven dollars on clearance, but it was um, five. This is really good. It's great at covering the pores. It doesn't itch my skin, and I have really sensitive skin. This is a real clean MAC 130 brush. I use Macadamia Organic Shampoo. I'm trying to find a good brush cleaner, so if you have any ideas. It has 5.1, no, 5.12% zinc oxide in it, which is great for, I believe, people like me with really sensitive skin. So, here we go. Covering up the red. I'm already wishing that I had put some kind of lip gloss on or not lip gloss, lip balm on so I could powder and all that jazz like Christopher Hawkins says in his book. So here we go. What else does this have? I'm really not sure. The active ingredients are really good. Oxtonite and zinc oxide. So, all right. So I'm liking this. It's good for the pores. You can see the difference in color. Almost done here. Okay. All right. And I'll also tell you how you spend two hours with the cosmetic consultant at Neiman Marcus today. All right, so we got the ponds out of the way. Then I finally broke down. I'm the last person on YouTube to get Sunny from NYX. And I will use a, another Sephora brush if I can find it. Yes, I can. No, this is a Sephora Pro, number 75. And this is the Sunny for like three dollars and change, like three fourteen maybe odd an odd number. At um, and let me know if I'm doing this wrong. I know that uh, Mariana from Neiman Marcus says stop like right here. Okay, so this is the NYC Sunny. Not bad, not bad. Sorry, I keep looking over there. Finally got on the Rimmel. This is East End Snob. I like it because it's kind of angled. Do you see that? Easy to put on. Make a smile. And it's pretty close to my lip color. So I don't know how long it lasts. This is like my first time really using it. So I'll use some my Pretty Pretty Clinique. This is really inexpensive. It's like under 20. And it's a pretty container. And then I got the, finally, a Rimmel in, this is a Scandalize in Nude 05. And this is really good if you're, you know, really tired and you your eyes are getting red. You just put it on your waterline. In my case, I'm covering up If you put it like right under your eye, it's supposed to make your eyes look bigger. So we got that going on. I also bought Vertex out on this Silkis May from L'Oreal. I read about it in Town and Country. Allegedly it was used at a, a fashion show. It is buttery. It's like a NARS pencil, but when I put it on a few times today, and I just got these products today. 
it transfers to the bottom. And I don't know, because my eyes are so small, I don't know if I really should be wearing liner. And this was only uh, in black. It was on sale for 25% off, so it was like $6 at my grocery store. They had more colors at Walmart. So I should clean that up, but it's very buttery. And then this is a Paul Bagon Best Buy. This is the e.l.f. Wet gloss, it was a dollar. The there's two sides. The larger one is for your brows. The smaller one is for your eyelashes. And I really would like to find a brown mascara. Now that I'm thinking about it, what are your favorite mascaras, everyone? My Jordana that I like a lot is only in black. So here is the wand. Frankly, I don't see any difference in this and my, what do I got here? My Sephora for $12 I had given to my mom and then I took back because she took my brow gel that I like. It was like $5 at TJ Maxx. And then this is the Anastasia I got in that little kit. I don't really see a difference in any of these, so for a dollar, I'd go for that. What else did I get? Inked in Pink by Maybelline. And I'll put some on. This would be a great base for the Naked 3 palette. And it would also cover a multitude of sins. I use a similar color from the Berry M eyeshadow. It's a pink just like this. And if I put too much, let's see if I can do it. If I put too much eyeshadow on, then I just wipe some pink over it and it, it works good. Right now, though, because I have the attention span of a gnat, I'm going to put some... See, I like this. All right, I have my eye on the hourglass diffused blush. It's like thirty dollars. I haven't even swatched it yet, but I have my eye on that. It's like two products in one: the ambient lighting and the blush. But this is great from Tarte, from that very very pretty palette. Very very pretty. So let's try, and it won't be such a stretch. I'll use, I'll try and, I'm pretty sure I'm using the wrong brush, but I'm under the gun here. What we're, we're trying to put too much on though, right? So I'll put too much purple on. And then we'll swipe it with the old pink, and we'll see how that does. Pretty good. Pink is good to correct things. So I think that's all I got from the old drugstore, but the jojoba from Trader Joe's is just too harsh for my skin. So I'm trying per suggestion the vitamin E, which... I've already put on and it hasn't erupted or anything. This is an all-time favorite. Uh, coconut body butter. Love it. My mom loves it. And then when I need a little pick-me-up, I get these tissues from Trader Joe's. They're like maybe two dollars. And then these these are coffee cups. They're like $2.49 for seven of them. I think that's like 50 cents each. And I'm drinking the coffee now. And it's not bad. They're made for Keurig. They're a little interesting, though. They come individually wrapped. They come in its own wrapper. And this is what it looks like. And this is kind of a strong coffee. It says medium roast, but there's no bottom that gets poked through. Like a regular Keurig, it comes out on the sides. But it still works in my Keurig, so I like that. And then, I don't know if it's the Ole Henriksen um, sea cream, but or maybe I'm getting heavier. But 
it seems like my, are these the marionette lines? But whatever this is, is going away. And it's either the Ole Henriksen. But I have a feeling, because I noticed it when I used this. Oh, what a night. Walnut therapy. From Nature's Gate. I got it at TJ Maxx. So this is another product, you know, that's worth looking into. And I think that's all that I got. The Scandalize. Um... The eyeliner, yeah, I will, um, I'm doing a little more shopping too. I have some things to do. So if you have any bomb favorites, let me know. I'm going to look at the makeup remover and, or the Betty, no, the Mary Luminizer. And then I have some money from Macy's. So I either might look, put that towards the laser or maybe a MAC eyeshadow. I only have this and that from MAC. So uh, I'll be doing that. And then, I don't know, I get to pick up two little things from Sephora. So I might look at the Ambient Hourglass if I'm, if I'm at the, the big Sephora. So that's what um, I've been up to. Thank you so much for not subscribing because of that blooper. <laughs> Thanks for watching.